Packing Party people, it's your girl Nicole Bannister, aka Nikki Bands. Today is Tuesday, so you already know the vibes. Welcome back to Nikki Bands Live! <laughs> Hey, 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 what's Gucci, everybody? Oh my goodness gracious, it is so good to see all of you beautiful humans here today. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you all for being here. You already know that I do this every single Tuesday. Every Tuesday, I am bringing you exclusive interviews with the most incredible artists, entertainers, entrepreneurs, activists, actors, dancers, singers, Olympians from all over the world. And honestly, this show brings me so much joy, I have to say. Like, just being able to have dynamic, cross-cultural conversations with people who are movers and shakers in their fields. There is nothing else like this, party people. There is nothing else on the internet where one week you're talking to an actress from South Africa and the next week you're talking to an actress from India. Like, yo, where else in the world does it happen? So thank you all for being here as part of Nikki Bands Live. Thank you for your support. If you want to continue to support your girl, Nikki Bands, in my fabulous endeavors here with hosting, emceeing, presenting. You can always follow me on Instagram at they call me bands. You can always subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just type in Nicole Bannister. You'll find all my interviews all time. Or you can buy me a coffee. Hey, 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 hey. Buymeacoffee.com slash Nicole Bannister and you can go ahead and support your girl. I cannot tell you I'm so, so, so excited to have this guest on today. I danced the night away with her at the Nas Summit in Dubai. I helped her facilitate an incredible class that she had on brand sponsorships and deals at Nas Academy. And she is truly a professional in her field. She is an actress. She is a director. She is a writer. She is a producer. She's a content creator. She is the one and only Kanisha Malhotra. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> So before I bring the girl on, just a couple of shout outs, a couple of updates, because you know I always like to do this. This is the one year anniversary month celebration of Nikki Bands Live. So I have been hosting this show every single Tuesday for an entire year. Next week, next Tuesday, August 23rd is the exact day one year ago that I started this show. And like I said, I cannot thank y'all enough for your support. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for always showing up on Tuesdays. Thank you for always DMing me, commenting, sending all the love, all the good vibes. Thank you for following me on Instagram. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for buying me a coffee. Honestly, it means the world to me. And as a host and MC without a big network behind me yet, this has been the most incredible journey and just such a great way for me to connect with folks. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So. I think that's all the intros I just gotta say. I gotta say thank you so much for supporting the girl. And you know what? I think it's about time that we got my guest on. I don't know if you can tell by what I'm wearing, but I tried to rock the colors of the Indian flag because we celebrating Indian Independence Day, y'all. Indian Independence Day yesterday, but I'll get into it with my girl, Kanisha, once I bring her on. All right, Kanisha, I know you're there. I know you're watching. I know it's late for you, but I'm so blessed to have you here. I'm going to bring her on right now. You know I love my sound effects. So let me get a little drum roll going. It's about that time. <laughs> Kanisha Mahoja, ladies and gentlemen, however you identify, let's get it cracking. <laughs> yes! Hello. What's up, girl? Hello, hello. Hi, hi, everybody out there. I thought I'd put some filter because I did not have any time to put on any makeup. So <laughs> I love it. Hi. <laughs> You're beautiful just the way you are, Kanisha. You're always stunning, always looking fabulous. Every time I see you, I work with you, you, I do anything with you. I'm like, ah, oh, this girl is such a star. Thank you and congratulations. You're completing one year on your um, live show. It's, it must be a beautiful feeling, right? Thank you. No, it really is. And you know, it's like when you start something brand new, 
and you say you're gonna do it once a week, you're like, can I really survive? Like, can I really make it once a week, every single week? So the fact that I'm hitting the one year mark and I still have incredible guests like you who are coming on every week, giving your time you. like so thoughtfully, so generously, I'm like, I, I'm so blessed. So thank you for being a part of this experience with me. You're welcome. And I'm so happy to be here talking to you. I remember you, your energy is contagious. The way you actually helped me during my workshop was commendable. So this is my <laughs> way of saying thank you. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. Honestly, I absolutely love working with you. And I always like to share with people like how I know the guests who are on my show. And so I said this before, but I want to say it again. We danced the night away at the Nas Summit oh, in yes. Dubai. Okay, we were like absolutely. dancing, dancing, living our best lives. And then we got to work together on your course, which was just like incredible. I know, right? It was too much fun, actually, for me also. <laughs> Yes. So what, what time is it? You're in LA right now, right? So I actually just got back to South Africa. So I'm back in Cape Town now. So it's 8 p.m. for me here in Ooh, South Africa. It's, oh, it's 8 p.m. So in, in, in US, it must be like 11, 13 in the morning. I thought you were in, I didn't know you are okay. Cool. Yeah, cool. I, I, I was literally in LA over the weekend. I just got back. Like I just got back. Oh, okay. I'm still jet lagged. <laughs> oh, oh my God. And you have been traveling a lot, girl. I, you know, I have been traveling, but it's been so good to like be back in the US because I don't spend, you know, that much time there every year. So to have like a couple months there to see my parents and my brother and like see all my friends, that's always really nice, you know? So it's just good to be back with family. How sweet. That's nice. Oh, so sweet. What about you? Where are you right now? I'm in Delhi with family. I moved back to Delhi a couple of months back. Um, I was in Bombay for eight years and now I'm back for good. So wow. here I am. Wow. So it's like a permanent move back to Delhi. Okay. I hope so. Maybe for good. I did move for good. Uh, a lot of things have been happening in my life. So yeah. Mm, okay. Well, I can't wait to get into it. And I know it's late for you. So we're going to cut this interview a little bit shorter than normal, but we still so appreciate that even though it's like almost midnight, you're still coming on live, still having this dialogue with me. Just like, this is just a testament to who you are as a person and as a friend. That's so. I've put that filter on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also, I don't know if you saw, but I was trying to wear the colors. Okay? Yes, I, I actually saw that. Thank you. That was, that is such a sweet gesture. I mean, that's really sweet. You oh actually, I, I was thinking why are you wearing that? And then I was like, I think why she's wearing that. But then when you said it, yeah. <laughs> yes, happy, Independence Day. yes, happy Independence Day to India. You know, like so many countries around the world, you freed yourselves of British colonial rule. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, sometimes I feel it. we should, we should celebrate it in a larger way, even more. This time it was so big. Independence Day celebration, there was flag hoisted everywhere. Uh, they had this hashtag, Har Ghar Tiranga. That means, uh, you know, there's a flag, there should be a flag in every household of India. And you know the population, but yeah. But wow. they tried to make it possible. The government. Okay, well, I, I like that there's like more of a movement around Independence yeah. Day, you know? And I feel like people are kind of like waking up to these things, to being like, wow, like we really did get our independence. We were able to like break these colonial you know bonds right like the people are kind of waking up to those ideas now <laughs> yeah absolutely and that's the beauty of it right and um, i also made a video randomly otherwise i'm not this patriotic person who would do it but when i saw it happening everywhere in the country i was like you know what i need to make content on it and you know us content creators we are always doing that so yeah exactly exactly and i want to talk <laughs> all about your content creation. But I think the thing I want to ask you about first is I want to ask you about your journey into the entertainment space. Because, you know, through the work that you do as an actress, as a presenter, even content creation, like you are so yeah. confident in front of the camera always, you know, even in the workshop that you taught, like you even now, you're just like, yeah, cool. It's late at night, just going live, no big deal. Like, yeah, it's so okay. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm totally okay with it, you know. When it comes yeah. to making content or doing something like that, I am always up for it no matter what. I'm like, 
always always like yesterday night i had a 15 yesterday i had 15 hour shift we were shooting for a new project i don't want to talk about it right now very very soon i'll make some announcements so uh, we were shooting for it for 15 hours in the day and after that my client told me you know what kanisha let's make a reel and i was like where's my jacket let's do it <laughs> i was like i, I was that. so tired i was so tired but i was like you know what i need to so as a co- i'll tell you how i started i used to act in tv shows and i was like uh this is 4 years back Uh, tv was not pretty much working out for me and i always thought that i should have another source of income because working in television and film industry in bollywood anywhere i think in the world is not that easy you know there's too mm-hmm. much struggle that happens so i was like you know what i need to have another source of income and that's when uh, i i told uh, one of my brothers like you know cousin brother ki i want to i want to do something else how what should i do so he just, he told me that you know you're so good in giving reviews and creating content and talking to the audience you have a knack for it why don't you try content creation or you know something like that so i was like i don't know how to do it he said like, you know what as it was raksha mandan that time he's like as a rakhi gift i am going to hire an agency for you for a couple of months and uh, you see if it works out for you so this that agency actually helped me and then i used to dm brands I think I spoke about it in my li- in my workshop as well NASA NASA Academy workshop that I used to uh, DM brands and they used to you know tell me okay we are sending you products why don't you review us so that's how I started as a content creator for years mm. almost four years back wow well honestly like it just you can totally see how comfortable you are in front of the camera do you feel like your entertainment background in tv shows and in movies do you feel like that really helped you as a content creator absolutely i really feel that the confidence i got as an actor really helped me for be- becoming the person i am today so i really mm-hmm. think that was a big plus uh, there are content creators out there who are who are not from this background but i think working in front of the camera and behind the camera for so many years really helps Mm, mm. And so I like that you just mentioned that you're in front of the camera and behind the camera because you truly are, you know, you not only act yeah. you also direct, like and even with content creation, right? Sometimes you're in front of the camera but then you're also yes. behind the scenes editing, trimming, clipping, you know, doing all these things. All the time. Do, do you have a preference? Like in front of the camera or behind the camera? Do you have a preference? Absolutely, in front of the camera. <laughs> Always. All yes <laughs> but but here's the here's the catch i also love producing mm. i love producing so much that sometimes i dream about it like yesterday i produced a project and i couldn't sleep and i couldn't stop smiling after that touch wood because it went well so i was like you know what you know it's happening it's happening something great is happening and i enjoyed wow. it so i i love producing i love how things come together as one project i love it mm mm i mean it's clear that you love it and i feel like you are so effortless both in front of the camera and behind and i bet when you're behind the camera producing directing you know whatever you're doing i bet it almost like helps that you have experience as an actress because then you can understand what the actors and Absolutely. the actresses are going through so you know one thing i've realized is that when i used to just act i was a brat <laughs> always giving instructions to people do this do that where's my coffee where's my food where's my this and that but when i started working behind the camera on film sets i realized that oh god poor people poor guys they are they are working like they are starting a shift at 4 am and they are working till 12 in the night and right. the work culture especially in the film industry in india people are just so hungry for work they don't mm. see a clock they're always working especially in our industry so that's wow. where i realized that you know what it's absolutely fine you know i i need to just focus here and i need to learn this ethics that behind the camera people are also humans that's mm-hmm. when i became a better actor in front of it wow wow that's some excellent life advice right there for anyone who's in the entertainment industry to really consider the people who are doing all the effort doing all the work to actually make the show 
happen. You know, the folks behind the camera. I'm, I'm similar to you, right? I'm always in front of the camera, hosting, presenting, you know, and it's so important to check in on the people behind the camera as well. Not just, oh, where's Absolutely. my water, where's my coffee? But who, do you have water? You have coffee? You good? You, you good? <laughs> so now when we've already worked behind the camera, now we know the drill. That's why we are mm. considerate to those people. But if you're just an actor, you are not that considerate. You are a brat. You think that, oh, I am the heroine of this film. I'm, I'm like the lead face. And nobody talks to me like that. I have done that. Right. Trust me. There have been times wow. when I, have, I threw tantrum on this one show <laughs> I was doing. And I was like, I am not going to work until you guys give me food. And then my director was like, get food for ma'am. Ma'am ke liye khana lao, ma'am ke liye khana lao. Why are you not getting her food? She will not give me the scene. <laughs> my money wow. is at stake. And the next project, it was so random. This one project I was doing as an actor. And then I got this one opportunity to work with a very big director in Indian film industry. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to assist him. And the day I started assisting him, my life turned upside down. It was a great experience. And that's wow. where I realized, oh my God, what was I, why was I doing that to people? <laughs> They're such <laughs> nice people. Yeah. <laughs> because, like, because people used to do that to me then. Right. You're like, why did I do that? Why was I like that? <laughs> I was like, dear universe, I'm sorry, please. I know it's bad karma. Don't do this to me. And now I'm very <laughs> considerate. Because now I produce as well, right? So mm. now it's my team. So when I'm working behind the camera, it's like I am the boss here, but I do not have to act like a boss. Because again, karma will bite me in the tongue. So. <laughs> I love that. Always got to reflect on mama karma, you know? Always got to make sure that all the, all the chakras are aligned and karma is on our side. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, girl. Because we have actually seen that and we have done that, you know. Mm. I have been through, I have, I've been on both the sides, so now I know. Yeah, yeah. And I'm curious, Kanisha, as a producer, what has been one of your favorite projects that you've worked on so far? So I just did a show called To the Moon and Back. It will be out soon. Probably, I don't want to, I don't want to say right now, but probably this month itself so we are actually just prepping it for its release and stuff so that was like the best project I have worked on so far because everybody was so nice and it's my first series web show as a producer writer so it's very it's like my child so it's really close to my heart wow okay to the moon and back we can't wait to see it is it going to be accessible like for me in South Africa or in the US, like, will I be able to watch it online? Absolutely. It is, uh, yeah. it is going to be available on at least four to five OTT platforms. So I will send you the link. So whatever, maybe Amazon UK, US or whatsoever is feasible for you. Definitely. I'll send you the link. I'll, I'll send you the OTT platforms page so you can check yes. it out. Okay, I'm so excited because I feel like, you know, I've seen you in person. I've worked with you like online, but I've never actually seen you perform or like. And we danced all night, girl, in front of the Burj Khalifa. We've danced I, like crazy and we danced on Indian songs. It was so much fun. I know. We were getting our, our like, our moves on. <laughs> yeah. What is that? Museum of Future? Oh, yes. That, that place was super. That bar was amazing. Did you, like, were you able to actually go inside? I didn't go in. No, I didn't go in as well. In the next trip, maybe. Yeah, the next trip. I heard, I hear that there's a new summit happening in Dubai. In I December. got invited to it. I am selected for it. The one Are you going? Made. Okay. I don't know. I go to. Now, and now, that you, I, now, you now that you said it, I'm like, I want to come. <laughs> are you going? The question is, are you going for the summit? If you are going, girl, I'm coming. This okay. <laughs> Ho hopefully I'm going, I have applied and I haven't heard back yet, but I think since I work for Nas Academy, I think it's maybe a yes. <laughs> I think you were, you were like, you don't need an invite. You were like, it's like a wedding. <laughs> like you are, you're from the side of, you know, the groom or the bride. You, yeah, you don't need exactly. an invite. Exactly. So then hopefully I'll so be seeing you in Dubai. The I'll moment I applied, within half an hour, I got the mail and I was like, okay, this is nice. Do I go? Do I not go? <laughs> well, crazy. I think, you know, 
when you when you think about it, right? The 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 summit coming up in Dubai is like the one billion follower summit. I'm like, girl, you have oh, yeah. you have over four million followers across the internet. You are for sure contributing <laughs> to that. <laughs> so you know, I actually wrote that in the question. They asked yeah. me that how can you? Why do you want to go to one billion follower summit? So I said so that my four million followers can watch the summit. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I want to be there. Yes, I want to yes. be that source they can watch the summit from. Exactly. <laughs> I'm like I am. I I have you know four thousand followers, not four million. <laughs> but Doesn't I said, matter. You know, I was like, you know, you start small, and you gotta you gotta be with the people with the four million followers to get there. I need inspiration. You know what I mean? Doesn't matter. You know, you should. We'll uh, we'll do one more live on my Facebook for my other. Three point seven million followers. It's fun. <laughs> you know, I actually know. never. I I've never gone live on Facebook. I would love to go live with you on Facebook. I've never Please, gone live there before. I do most of my lives on Facebook, but it's fun. Oh. It's fun on Instagram as well. Oh, okay, okay. See, I'm learning new things from you every day, Kanisha. This is what I love about you. You always teach me something new and fabulous. <laughs> Same here. I love it too, and I love your energy so much, Nikki. Your energy oh. is so good. You're always like you. The way you started your life with that uh, sound, and then you were like bam, bam, bam. It was like so good. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Because you know, I find with Instagram, like if I share the video afterward, right? If you put it to a story, all you see is like the first fifteen seconds. Right, so I've got like fifteen seconds to hook you and catch your attention. Oh, yes. So I try to give it like all the energy that I can. <laughs> and you did it very well. Oh, thank you! What a compliment coming from you, Miss Superstar. And you know, hey, look, if you I'm ever need superstar. an American in one of your shows or movies, call me. <laughs> Absolutely, I think I want to work in a Hollywood project, or maybe that's like my. That's like my dream to work in a Hollywood or in an international project. Do you have uh, something in mind? Do we have I, something in mind? Is something you know, cooking? Maybe we we should cook it up. You and I will we'll cook it up. We'll pitch it to Netflix. We'll pitch it to Hollywood, and we'll say absolutely. Okay, you, yeah, that's what I think. <laughs> and we we'll get and we we'll get NASA Academy on board. <laughs> exactly, they can produce it. They have a whole studio team. You know, they have such <laughs> amazing studio team, girl. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Yeah. So, Kanisha, we know that you're always like, you are always hustling, whether it's content creation, producing, acting, you're always hustling. Like, what do you do in your spare time? Like, when you're not in front of the camera or behind the camera, what do you do for fun, girl? You want to know about my fun? I sleep a lot. I love sleeping. <laughs> If I'm not doing anything else in the world, I'll be sleeping. Where is Kanisha? She's taking a nap. Why? Because she's free. She's not, she, she's... As raw as it can get, but that's what I like to do in my free time. I love that. I love your honesty. I love that transparency. You're like, I need rest. I'm taking it. I need rest, dude. How how much one can work? So after a 15-hour shift, you don't expect somebody. Or I'm Netflixing and chilling. So yeah, that's yeah, what I, I do in my free time. I was stalking your Instagram a little bit before we went live, and I saw that uh, you were commenting on this new show, like Indian matchmaking. <laughs> oh yes, it's so funny. Want... Tell me your thoughts, dude. It it looks like a dating show. There's a girl who's trying to find a husband, but then they are in the middle of the road kissing, and they just <laughs> met. That's how how you find a husband, and then this. <laughs> This lady who's like the matchmaker, Simandi, she will keep saying the stars are not aligned, so you can't get married. And she had the audacity to comment on Priyanka Chopra and Nick Jonas's relationship. Like, who the fuck are you? Did, I'm did, so did, getting this. Did she yeah, comment she said, on their relationship? I missed. I haven't watched that episode yet. She said that it's yet. a very bad match. <laughs> What? <laughs> I mean, who gave her the right to comment that that it's a bad match? That is so funny. But sometimes I wonder. I mean, you would know more about this because you work in the behind the scenes. Sometimes I wonder if producers are like they just say something like that just to make like a little controversial clip, you know, like something that will just be like clickbait for everyone to want to watch it, you know? Yeah, they do. I I totally 
agree with it but you know sometimes it's very forced mm. which is people shouldn't do that you know i as a producer i really feel that the more authenticity you give to your audience it is people will come back so yeah 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 is there like as an actress or as a producer maybe both is there like a specific style that you really like to portray like a specific um like genre or theme of content that you that you like to create so somebody once told me that i'm very good with playing with emotions of people in a good way in a good mm-hmm. way like i know how to create emotional things so that they get emotional and Ooh. especially especially romance so i know how to portray romance really well and yesterday also the thing i produced is a romantic film so uh, yeah those who the actors asked me kanisha you are single how how are you so good at producing romantic content and i said that because i'm a hopeless romantic and some day i have hope that i will find the one so <laughs> in that hope i keep <laughs> in that hope <laughs> i keep producing like content like that so i i really feel that because of my eq i'm good in producing emotional sort of content here yeah. mm mm i'm already moved mm. i'm already inspired even just by you sharing why you like to you like have to, to watch, watch some of my content then only you will get to know especially the content i produce i know i need to i need to but i was like i was having trouble like finding You know, I, I I like looked on YouTube. I looked on your pages. Obviously, you can see like clips, you know. But I was like, where mm-hmm. do I watch like a whole show? I need like so a. So what I do site. is I don't I don't uh, post it on my platforms. I usually post it on my uh, company's platforms. Ah. Designer Wala Lab Productions. That's the name of my production house. Because I was a fashion designer once, so it's Designer Wala. Mm-hmm. And secondly. Oh, okay. it's on other platforms like amazon uk us there's one you can watch it you have you must be having an amazon which is a uk based us based amazon right amazon.com mm. yeah so i'll send you the name of my film it's on amazon uk us you can watch it there or i have i have two of the films on amazon then i have uh, two films on two other ott platforms so they are on different ott platforms Okay. Okay. I love it. Clearly I didn't do like good enough research to figure out where I could watch your stuff before I interviewed you. Before we go live on Facebook, I'll watch all the movies. <laughs> oh yes. I'll send you all the links. I'll send you all the names. You should you need to watch it. I know. Definitely. I know. Honestly, like you know from the second that we first met i could just tell like you know you you keep talking about my energy but it's just like you know good vibes attract good vibes and so i can only like Yes, good vibes attract good vibes. Yes, how that like I can only imagine how that comes through on the screen when you're playing a character, yes. you know what I mean? So I just think that's so cool. And now so I cool. think I I would want to come to Dubai and I want to I'm looking forward to that summit now. Yes, honestly I'm so oh, stoked that you're going to be there cuz I was like, should I go? Should I not go? I don't know. I was like, it's just 2 days. But now I'm like, okay, you're going. Yeah, okay, no, it's done. We're going to Dubai. Let's just baby. go and dance, yeah. I just let's just go and dance. the night out yeah yeah i'm like for, forget the summit it's all about the after party <laughs> <laughs> yeah forget about the summit i'll come for the after party it, it was so good yes. like everybody was there i know i know it was a blast it was a blast okay and well I round 2 so much fun okay. especially meeting ross and you you guys are like oh. super fun yes oh my gosh i love ross too you know what's so funny He's he was so literally good. just in Cape Town like last week I know when he put a story about you uh, and you know I know. Was, <laughs> it was so sweet I know but I wasn't here I was in LA oh. while he was here so I missed him Dude you've been traveling a lot I'm so jealous <laughs> Come with me come like wherever you want to go let's just go somewhere let's Honestly go I need somewhere. to come I need to come visit you in India that's like really what I need to do honestly Please come to India I know you you need to come here <laughs> Okay, Delhi, here I come. <laughs> Bombay as well. We we'll go to Goa and then okay. we we'll go to hills. I love it. I so I have been to India once, but it was so it was like 15 years ago. I went to wow. uh Rajasthan and Jaisalmer and Jaipur. Um wow. but like I said it was I was in high school, so it was like it was like 15 years ago, it was a long time ago. <laughs> also, I think uh I need to come to LA. It's been a while. Yeah. I was 19 when I came to the states last time. Okay. 
Yeah, so it's definitely been a minute. I see my mom is like here minute? in the chat. It's been 11 years. Wow, wow. Well, I see, I see my yeah. mom is here in the chat. I know she's going to say you can come stay with us in LA. <laughs> Yes, for sure. My my brother lives in LA. My uh, he's oh. he's more than a real brother to me. He's my co like cousin, but uh, we're very close. So he lives in LA, and he's been calling me and how. And I was like, you know what? Once I'm settled with my ventures and stuff, I'll go. But every time I talk to him, I am starting off a new venture or I'm getting into something new. And he's like, Kanu, you're never going to come. So I told him, <laughs> no, I'll come. And this time when I come, I want to collaborate with a lot of creators so that we can do something great together. Yes. Yes. I love that. It's going to happen. It's going to be amazing. And we're going to, we're like, we're going to manifest it. We're speaking it into existence right now. <laughs> Putting it into the universe. I'm like, Karma, yes. do your thing. <laughs> do your thing, please. Make my <laughs> dream come true. I want to do a, I want to collaborate a, a, on a Hollywood, on a Hollywood project. Yeah, I okay. said it. Here, Boom. I said it. It's, Boom. You've said it, so it shall be. <laughs> and we so, love work on it. I know, we're, we're gonna make it happen. It's like, boom, it's happening, it's done. <laughs> So, Kanisha, I know it's late for you, and I don't want to take up so, so, so much of your time, but I think just, like, the last question I'll ask you uh, quickly before I let you go is just what should we keep an eye out for? As your friends, as your fans, as your followers, what can you tell us that's on the horizon? How, how can we continue to support you? Um, I have a new venture which I'm starting, so that's something you guys should look forward to something which I'll, I'll announce very, very, very soon. Like very soon, probably in another 15, 20 days, you'll hear mm -hmm. about it. It will be everywhere. Then my web show is coming out to the moon and back. It is coming out probably next, I mean, in another 10 days. So please look, look forward to that and support me and watch the series. It's my first show as a producer. And wow. uh, I am doing one more show. Thank you. And I'm doing one more show very, very soon with some fellow creators. It's a collaborative effort. So that's coming. And then you can also support my content, guys. I know I've not been very active lately. I was sick. I, was, I've had a, I had an accident. So I was on bed rest for a couple of days. Oh, no. And yeah, so there's, there's, so there's so much to look forward to. And uh, I've just started working on my YouTube channel uh, regularly. So that's also there. So. Oh, I love it. I love it. <laughs> yeah, and you're just so busy doing so many things always, which is what I love. Like, I hope that everyone who's watching this right now on Instagram Live, or maybe you're watching the rerun on YouTube, make sure you're following Kanisha at Kanisha Malhotra Official. If you go to the top of your screen on Instagram, just click on that little arrow and you can go ahead and Thank follow you. this fabulous actress, content creator, producer. And we want to continue to support all of your ventures, not only, like I said, as an actress, but as a producer as well. So it's so cool that you've been able to branch out and expand into Thank all these you. different forms of entertainment. And honestly, Kanisha, we love you. We love what you're doing. And we're so excited to watch you continue to grow and thrive and flourish. Thank you. And I hope that I wish the same for you. And I hope we meet very, very soon once again. And uh, we create great things together. And I wish you luck for your show. And one year is happening tomorrow. Thanks for supporting us with your, uh, you know, dress today. You're wearing colors of national Indian national flag. That's very sweet. And uh, yeah, guys, my audience also, I'm not sure if anybody's alive right now. It's late here. But if anybody's watching, then please follow Nikki Bands. At the rate, they call me Bands. And this hey. girl is full of energy. She is like, you know, she's on fire. <laughs> so that's why. <laughs> All the best to you too also, Nikki. And yeah, thank you once again for having me on your show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Sleep tight tonight. Happy Independence Day, India, once again. And shout out to everybody who is here watching Nikki Bands Live. Thank you Thanks, so, so, uh, so much. Sodamini is online. Let's say hi to her. She says my two favorite power girls. Hi, sorry. Uh, Hello, sorry. Uh, 
Hi, hi, hi. Oh my gosh, I saw somebody else sign on to the amazing Fatima Albanawi, who's an incredible Saudi Arabian actress and director, producer as wow. well. So I love connecting the dots here. We've got India's, you know, finest, Saudi Arabia's finest. Everybody's connecting the dots. Uh, so it's so, so cool. And Fatima was a guest on my show too. So hi, Fatima. Hello, everyone. I love that folks are tuning in. <laughs> that was really nice of you to invite me on your show. And I can't wait to meet you in Dubai. Yes, I'll see you in Dubai very soon. I'll see you in Dubai very, very soon. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, thank you, Kanisha. Thank you, everybody. This is Nikki Vans Live. We do this every single Tuesday. So we'll see you next week for the one year anniversary special. Bye. Bye, guys. Good night. Bye. Bye Good Nikki. night. <laughs>